We see maths in everything. We see maths in art, we see it in the description of music. And of course, we can use the same ideas to describe Lionel Messi. Myself and my colleagues at Uppsala University, what we've been trying to assess using millions and millions of ball touches is what makes Messi a genius. What we want to look at when we break down Lionel Messi is the geometry that he creates on the pitch. He's creating art on the football pitch and he's also creating these mathematical structures. What Messi does, which no other player does, not even Ronaldo, is break down the space that the opposition are trying to control. This is one of his classic goals against Bilbao. Bilbao have never been relegated yet. from the Premier Division. Something to be admired, I have to say. Well, it's real and broadly still going. Look at this, Kevin. It's a brilliant run from Messi. Can he go all the way? He's in this situation where there's three defenders all moving in this direction. Messi is also moving towards the goal. And the way to do that is to stop and take a step inwards. Suddenly, he's moved into a different position where each of the players that surround him are maximally distant from him. It's one of the great Copa del Rey final goals from the magical, mercurial Lionel Messi. He beat all three of them, then he beat another one and he put it at the near post. Messi is amazing. The amazing Messi has just scored one of the best goals you're ever going to see in a cup final. Absolutely superb. Simple mathematical calculation, the greater distance you have from your opposition, the more space and the more time you have. Try and stop it with two players, with three, it simply doesn't matter. In the end, he manages to do a nutmeg and go past all three of them. He's just unbelievable. How do you stop him? Messi has the Camp Nou on its feet once again. There are mathematicians working in all of the clubs trying to understand the geometry of Messi and to try and think about ways of defending against him. But it's all about how quickly the players can think about these things on the pitch. I can stand here and explain all of the theory of Messi to you, but what I can't do is go out and tackle it. You can really think of Messi as warping space with his temporal movements. He uses his time to change the shape on the pitch. His fast movements can actually manipulate space and create new areas for him to move into. Back to Alves, who's got him behind, Mikel Rico here, and in goes Messi! Most people can't think in more than four dimensions. Messi can think in a few more dimensions than any other player can. 22 times two, 44 plus the spatial dimensions. 48 dimensions. Lionel Messi is a genius. Ronaldo, he is a once in a generation player. You can expect the, his goal tallies to be once in every generation. Messi, on the other hand, his goal tally was equivalent to a once-in-a-lifetime event. So every 74 years, the average life expectancy in Argentina, every 74 years, you'll expect another Messi to come along. I don't think we've ever seen or ever will see anything like Lionel Messi again.